too distracting. I can't turn it off because it's controlled with the lights. It has been quite literally like feels like forever since I've vlogged. I think it's been like two months. We've dealt with like a lot of sicknesses this year, like me and Vivian. I just never really felt like vlogging because we were sick. Now it's finally getting warm out. It is today I think it's gonna be today's gonna be 79. I have so many breakouts this pregnancy, like I cannot this pregnancy has been so different from Vivian's, I feel like, because with Vivian I live I really did not have a single blemish. I had glowy skin. Right now my skin only looks glowy because there's lotion on it. So today I am meeting with my midwife for the very first time and I'm super, super excited. Um, for those of you that are new here, I had a home birth with my first daughter and I'm planning a home birth with my second daughter now. Um, I did film my birth with her and then I believe I did a video when I decided to have a home birth with her because I didn't actually decide to have a home birth until I was 36 weeks with her. Um, this time I'm just just having one because I simply loved it and I want to have all my kids at home. Um, the only reason I haven't met up with this midwife yet, I am 28 weeks today so I'm in my third trimester now. I started talking to her since October when I found out I was pregnant and we've been talking weekly since then but I've just been going to see a doctor because under insurance in Illinois, home birth isn't covered with insurance and so therefore if you want any blood draws or like medical testings or anything like that, like it's not going to be through insurance if you do it through midwife. So I've also been seeing a regular OB guide just for those things, just to make sure I'm having another healthy pregnancy. So far, like, just talking to her, I really love her, and I get really good vibes from her, so excited to meet her. The only reason I'm not going with my previous midwife is because she retired. The other part I forgot to mention was this midwife comes to me for appointments, which I'm really excited about, but I need to kind of clean up the house a little bit. So I'm gonna do some vacuuming. I'm gonna finish getting ready. I need to get dressed and blow dry my hair out, and then I will probably check back in later good morning guys it is now thursday so yesterday i did not get any other footage the rest of the day you know what did nice after the midwife came um she actually was here for two hours which was great because we had, you know, a lot to discuss and go over and it was just our first time meeting. So we had, you know, questions for each other and just got to know each other a little more. It was really good. It went really well. Um, I have very good feelings about her and I'm just super excited now to like get started on everything. Like, I don't know. I feel like for so long, I was just kind of in a limbo of like not exactly knowing what I was going to do, who I was going to go with and things because my I think I explained earlier my last midwife my previous one is retired but already like not that I have anything negative at all to say about my past midwife like I loved her it was just a very different um, experience that I'm having this time with this lady and even my husband like from what I've told him he's like oh wow like this lady seems like she's super prepared and not that my last midwife wasn't like I still love her this is nothing against her at all it's just very different this time everything is gonna be like literally I will not need to buy a thing for postpartum or like giving birth where last time I had to buy everything separately but this time the lady is so it's just like a much more relaxed experience for me, I feel like, because last time I was kind of like rushing to get everything. Like literally, she came and she gave me a Doppler. Like, that is so cool for like a midwife to just give to you. Like, I know you can just buy these from Amazon, so I know like it's not crazy special, but like still like, and then she gave me like tea that I guess is like really, really good for pregnancy and birth. And she said I could start taking it already. Sorry if I'm like rambling on about this forever, but it's just like part of this process for me that I'm just really excited about. So we're just playing outside. There's Lonnie. Lonnie, say hi. Hi. And there's Vivi. Vivi, say hi. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna pooper scoop the yard because, you know, we're out here with the kids. And what was there, Lonnie? What was in Lulu's yard? Um, baby and her tummy. No. <laughs> what was in the yard right now that I tried to kill? A snake. It was a snake. I'll insert a picture, but it's the second gardener snake we've had in our yard this week and they're like big ones for a gardener snake and i could not kill it guys i tried it ran away i tried with this shovel right here i tried striking it twice but i didn't want to get too close because i was nervous if it would like jump because it started like putting its head up and like hissing and it was scary so it ran away and we're not gonna go in the grass what did he do 
sticks his tongue. He stick his tongue out? Yeah, come back over here. I don't know if there's more. Also, look at me in the reflection of my door. Do I not look humongous? I'm like, oh my gosh. You can't really see that way. I have to be this way. I look huge. Oh, my Lanta. So Ella and Hilani are home now and I just made Vivi her lunch. So she's got four chicken nuggets, three cuties, and a cheese stick. We'll see how much of it she eats, but she didn't eat a huge um, breakfast this morning. So I feel like she's probably a little hungry. Is hey, yummy? Thumbs up. <laughs> it's so bright out, but I'm outside now. It is 80 degrees out and I am just laying in this like lounge chair and I just put Vivian down to nap. It is currently 1.32. I did make that tea that the midwife gave me and I iced it and it's actually really good. I also added lemon juice in it just because I like to add lemon juice to my iced teas. Um, but yeah, it's really good. I feel like I look like a total mess right now, but I actually could not stay outside for that long because I started to get really hot and sweaty. And then I was starting to burn like here and on my thighs. And I already have a tan line on my legs. So I was like, okay. I think I was out there for maybe 20 to 25 minutes. Um, it was just super hot. Vivian is still sleeping. It is currently 4.15, but when I came inside, I was just like super, super tired. I just been laying down in bed for a little while, but now I'm gonna make some dinner. Good morning. I'm vlogging on my phone right now because my camera's at home. I'm at my mom's house. Kaylani again. <laughs> and Vivi. Her hair's crazy because she, I had it in a cute ponytail and she wanted Ella, it out. Ella, I'm outside. Ella's watching her movie. Ella, I'm outside. It is so bright out so I cannot really see, but we are just relaxing, sitting here. Um, I needed to come over and babysit for a little bit because my mom had a doctor's appointment, but when she gets back, I need to run some errands and she said I could leave Vivian here. So, you guys will come with me while I run those errands. Hopefully, I remember to like film some footage on my phone. But it's so beautiful out. I love this weather. It's gonna be 80 degrees today again, so it's very warm. Got back to my mom's. I'm eating these kettle pop corners. These are like my favorite snacks. Marshall's was an absolute madhouse. Um, and then I also went to Sam's Club because I needed to get dog food. And then I went to Target, which was also crazy, but I did get like one little clip. I just like could not vlog in any of the stores. It was so crazy and like busy. And when stores are busy, I literally just want to get in and out. Like I cannot stand being around that many people. But I will give you a haul of everything that I got when I get home because I put everything in the trunk and I'm not going to go back there and get it right now. And I need to go in because I know my mom probably wants me to come. I'm back home. I'm actually currently steeping more of this tea, but I want to give you guys my haul from Marshalls These are already dirty because Vivian wanted to wear them right away I got her these cute little like sandals. They're sparkly with little flowers Um, she just needed she doesn't have any sandals in size 8 and it's already like 80 degrees here So she needed some because her size 7s were not fitting her anymore. They're very flimsy So some like comfortable play sandals what I got for myself is this dress, and I'm actually gonna try on. Um, the brand is Olivia Ray, a baby doll type dress and flowy, but I just wanna make sure it's not too short, so I will have to try that on. And then for Ella, her birthday, her birthday's tomorrow, and she's having an Animal Crossing theme birthday and she's like obsessed with anything animal crossing so i got her an amiibo pack she bought an amiibo pack once before and like was so stoked about it so i got her another one and then i got her this that they had at target which is like um like a collector's like box of animal crossing stuff so it comes with a keychain a throw blanket a bento box water bottle a beanie and a backpack bag thought she would love that so that's what I got her. I'm actually gonna try this on. Sorry if the lighting is bad, but this is a dress that I'm wearing today, which I got last year from Target, and it's not maternity, so it's like, I keep having to pull it down because it just feels like it's like riding up all day when I walk. So that's why I was like, I need to get a dress that's like flowy and loose, so I'm gonna try it on. 
Okay, here's what this dress looks like on. I think it's cute from like the front, but from the side, I don't know, it kind of looks weird. I don't know, I feel like it makes me look like I'm like huge, but it's also really flowy, so I might just keep it anyway to have like a flowy little dress. I mean, it's not maternity. Um, I try not to buy a lot of maternity clothes because I want to be able to like actually wear the clothes after I give birth too, so... I don't know. I don't know. And my belly button always looks so weird in everything I wear now. Vivian did not want to nap today. And I don't think I told you guys. She woke up at 4.30 in the morning this morning playing with her toys and talking in her bed. Did you wake up in the night? We were playing. Now she's eating some nerds. So that, of course, woke me up because I heard her. Um, she didn't fall back asleep until 6. So she was up from 4.30 to 6 just talking to herself. Yeah, she's the music. Hmm. The music. What's your music? The car has music. I don't know where this man is, but it's past his time to be home. That's all I know. But I'm gonna make some dinner now. Not really entirely yeah. sure. <gasps> I'm gonna clean up. Yeah, you're gonna clean it up. She spilled nerds all over this couch because she talks with her hands and forgot that she was holding nerds. <laughs> that yellow. You're welcome. I love you. Hello. I'm gonna show you guys tonight's dinner. It's not anything grand, but it's food. Here are the vegetables. I'm frying the potatoes because I have not fried potatoes in forever because I just know it's not as healthy for you. But it's literally one of Mondo's favorite ways to eat potatoes. Like he always asks me to fry them. So I'm frying them tonight. And then I've got the chicken cooking over here. It actually needs to be flipped. So 